Good evening. Philip Hughes, friends and family have been joined by millions around the world in an extraordinary outpouring of grief. Many of the tributes had a common theme, a simple, silent honour to a young batsman taken too soon. It was started by fans on social media. A simple suggestion. Put out your bats for Philip Hughes. It took off like wildfire. From Parliament House to the bush. Across the grounds he played, along with rivals and greats. Anyone who loved the sport, putting a bat out to honour Philip Hughes. Adam Gilchrist's front gate, Dean Jones's front veranda, Jonathan Trott's front door in the UK, inside Michael Vaughan's home, Viv Richards' bat and glove, even Google's home page. I hear all over the country people are putting bats in their backyard and in their front window. We thank people for that, those tributes. In Perth, 10 victim primary students just old enough to understand honoured their hero. It was very sad to find out that even one single cricket ball could take down such a man who had inspired so many dreams. And... Followed by a memorial match in Hughes's honour. In Cottesloe, Tom Moody paid tribute. It's just uh, still very raw for everyone. Uh, it's hard to believe that, uh, you know, that Phil Hughes has actually gone. Year 8 students from Christchurch and Aquinas wore black armbands during practice today. The traditional retirement score of 50 changed to 63, Philip Hughes's final score. And there were 63 bats at Cricket Australia, one for every one of those last innings. Former Australian coach Mickey Arthur says he's still coming to terms with the loss of a man he describes as the heart and soul of the dressing room. Australia is weeping because they've lost one, one of its favourite sons and um, as I said, you know, I can't speak highly enough about the bloke. At Homebush High, where Hughes attended Year 12, his principal and cricket coach remembered the player who came back to mentor the school's young players. He was friendly, he was warm, he, was, uh, he had a cheeky sense of humour, which was liked by staff and students and the general community. He treated everyone with a great deal of respect. At Maxville, where it all started, tributes sprouted everywhere for the baggy green player number 408. His school, the concrete and fake grass pitch where he dreamed of padding up for his country and the main street he roamed as a kid. Our hearts go out to the Hughes family and as a community we'll do everything that we can to support the family. The Hughes family want to hold his funeral here in Maxville. It will take some planning. The local church seats only 400. The cricket ground might be a better option. There's talk it could happen next Wednesday. Technically, that means a test team will be at a funeral one day, playing the very next. Rebecca Johns, Nine News. WA fans have paid their respects at the WACA, writing in a special condolence book that will be handed to Philip Hughes family. Jerry DeMassey is there tonight and Jerry, the WACA's scoreboard sits on 63. Good evening, Tim. Yes, it shows Philip Hughes as the only batsman on the crease and he remains not out. The flags here at the WACA are at half-mast, as they are at sporting grounds around the country. Floral tributes are being left outside the gates here and, as you mentioned, there's a condolences book. That's just outside the WACA Museum. Anyone is welcome to come and sign it. It will be given to the Hughes family after this weekend. Now, in line with the Hughes family's uh, wishes, cricket games in WA, as they will across the country, will continue this weekend. Players will all wear black armbands and pay a minute's silent at the beginning of the game. Year nines at Hale School played Scotch College students today, leading the way. Yeah, it was just a big tragedy and you know, our thoughts are with his family and everyone, and Cricket Australia and the team. We're playing the game today to try our hearts out for him and, yeah, obviously try to win. Tim, there's been some discussion about the safety and regulations surrounding the game today. WACA CEO Christina Matthews gave her opinion that regulations don't need to change due to the freak nature of the accident. Have a listen. Um, helmets were introduced, were introduced a number of years ago and are mandatory in, in junior cricket and we just encourage everybody to follow what is a normal procedure around protection. The scoreboard here behind me at the WACA will remain like this for the rest of the weekend as tributes continue to flow. Tim, it just goes to show that Philip Hughes' passing really has touched hearts across all corners of the country.